All right, guys, just hiding up in the bedroom to do a little video. Um, so the kids aren't pestering me. Just a quick one. For one, I'm knackered, guys. I've been out all day. I've actually done a shift. Done all right. Um, but this actually video is going to hopefully explain everything. So I'm seeing a lot lately on Facebook about Uber charging 45%, 20% VAT, 25% Uber's cut. So we're getting screwed left, right and centre from the fares. Now, me, myself personally, I never, I don't care what the customer's paying. I've said this in the past. Um, whatever money gets offered me, that's in my back pocket. If I'm happy with that fair price for that journey, I'll take it. If I'm not happy, I, I won't take it. I'll ignore it. Joys of being self-employed. Um, but a lot of people are quite fix, fixated on what's the customer get paying. And um, is it fair and stuff like that. So, and there's a lot of confusion over the VAT. So, when Uber lost a court case, they, um, they've ended up um, having to pay VAT. Um, so, technically, it, got in, it used to be the customer to us, Uber will take a cut. Now it's the customers to Uber, and then whatever's left will come to us. But people are a bit like confused, going like, well, 20% VAT, 25% commission, that's 45% of the fare. So we've actually, me and the lads have tested it today. Um, we've done all the math, we tested it. Uh, spoke to one of the lads, spoke to an accountant, the other one lad spoke to someone else. And together we've all four figured it out. Mainly John, by the way, shout out, lads. Um, you know who we are. Obviously talked about it and figured out what it is. So first of all, the way we've done it is um, I booked the fare. I got, a I got a job from Liverpool to Manchester City Centre and then one of the lads booked, uh, I got a price on Uber's app for the exact same addresses to get what the customer paid for. Now, listen, it's, I know this is all guesstimates because of the dynamic pricing. I've had I've had fares that are like, the customer's paid 13 quid and I've got up like 12 quid, which like makes no sense. But I know a lot of other people have said that they've 80 quid fare and they've ended up with 35 or something, but... Myself, personally, that doesn't seem real. Um, I reckon the customer might be blagging it a bit. That's the reason why I'm not relying on customer's information, but more the research we've done. Right, so I'm going to show a picture um, up on the screen. Yeah, so you should be able to see it now. Um, so the way we've done it is the customer paid, it was approximately, it's all approximates, guys, yeah, £60 um, for the fare, yeah? So within that sixty pound that the customer has paid, you have gotta have Uber's percentage of twenty five percent, and VAT to the um, government, and then whatever's left is ours, the leftovers, right? So by the looks, so you can see sixty quid at the top is customers' fare, and then uh, on the left is Uber's cut. So twenty five percent of uh, sixty is fifteen quid. Right, and then twenty percent of the fifteen quid, which is Uber's commission, is three pound. Yeah, so totaling out of the sixty pound, there's eighteen pound deductions, so you're left with forty two pound, and that is what I received today, like forty pound, forty two pound and sixty pence or something like that, and the, I can't remember what the fare was sixty pound and something else pence, but what it worked out as. Bang on that figure. So it's 25% commission. And then the VAT is 20% of their commission. So if it's a £4 fare and Uber's getting a pound, only 25, only 20p is getting added onto that fare. So minimal, minimal amounts. So when people start saying like, oh, since the VAT, the customer's paying over the top prices and it's obviously going to push them away to go to other firms and all that. It's not, because if you take away the VAT, right? But just say before the court case, the customer would have paid 57. Uber would have took, obviously, around 15, and we would have received around 40, 42. So, in that whole fare of the £60 fare, the actual amount of VAT the customer's paying is about 5%, Right? That's just how it worked out because the VAT is only charged to Uber's commission, not to the fare and not to our cut. 
right? And also the customer pays that VAT, not us. It goes on top of the fee as an additional. Do you know what I mean? It's not coming out of our out of our cut per se, divided it on to the fair. Um and that's where I said obviously if there's no VAT, the cost the customer will pay fifty seven, Uber will take the normal and we'll be left with similar or the same. Um and that's it guys. That's it. That is literally the VAT and the pay structure um explained. Now also which is quite of a f- interesting fact. So since the VAT thing come out, right, which approximately adds about five percent to the fare, um, Uber also created the Uber One, which is like the paid monthly subscription. And if you look on that account on that on, on that deal of paying for their monthly prescription, is um, you get five percent off all Uber fares. You get loads of discounts on the food. You get like free delivery and all that, but mainly you get five percent off, um, of all the fares. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it? That they give you the 5% discount when you sign up to their Uber One. And that 5% is purely the increase, the VAT added onto the fares. Now, obviously, we're just talking hypotheticals here. We've tested a couple of the jobs and they've all come back similar. Now, I know people are saying, oh, this, blah, blah, blah. But if you ask a customer, they'll either be very vague about it. Do you know what I mean? Or they'll be like... um. Blah blah blah. They might just over. Oh yeah, it's dead expensive or whatever. Or they might say dead cheap. Do you know what I mean? The way we've done it today is the way it was tested, um, scientifically. That it was just tested, weren't it? Now I'm not saying every job is like this, but I'm just explaining how the VAT works, how the commission works, and all that. And it's not not much has changed if you look at the look at the equation. And that's on a sixty pound fare. If you're on a ten pound fare, right? You got ten pound, right? So you got two pound fifty to Uber, about fifty p to VAT, and then seven fifty to us. So the fare would be ten pound fifty. Uber will get twenty five, two pound fifty, and we'll get seven pound fifty off ten pound fare. It's not in like crazy, crazy, like crazy places. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I just want to do this little video, just explain a bit about it, and hopefully, um. That what we're what I'm saying is spot on. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Obviously, uh, this is only my opinion on what what I've figured out on my opinion. You know what Uber's like. You can't really phone up Uber and go, "All right, mate, what's going on here?" Do you know what I mean? They're very vague and stuff themselves. Um, but the science today, the science uh, definitely worked out spot on over that job. I'm not saying every job's the same, but today that's the way it looks. Uber's commission. 20% VAT from Uber's commission, not from the fair, not from our cut, is added onto the fair, and then we're left the leftovers, guys. Listen, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope this video has helped out a lot of people. If it has, make sure you give me a big like and subscribe, as always. And now I'm going to bed because I'm shattered. <laughs> Catch you all later, guys. Peace out.